Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the University of Cambridge for what I hope will be uh, an important and lively event on open access monographs. It is fantastic to have such a diverse community of speakers and participants, including the whole of the delegates here at the symposium. We represent authors, learner societies, funders, publishers, policy makers, librarians, and I am delighted and want to say thank you to everybody for coming and taking part today. As Maria said, my name is Dr. Jessica Gardner and I'm the University Librarian for Cambridge. So it is my absolute pleasure to do a few opening remarks for the conference on behalf of our wonderful Office for Scholarly Communications here at the University Libraries. We are here today in many ways because of a shared recognition that long form matters. It matters to authors, part of the methodology of shaping, crafting and communicating ideas, and to readers, whether a student, a peer researcher or a member of the wider public, committed to read deeply into the subject and build upon the arguments made. And it matters to publishers and to librarians too. We're here at Cambridge, and I'd just like to say a few remarks about the university and the setting in which we're speaking. Cambridge has two core values which underpin our work. One is freedom of thought and expression, and one is freedom from discrimination. We have a mission to contribute to society at the highest international levels through our education and through our research. And earlier this year issued, I think, an, a leading position statement on open research. And one of the qualities of that position statement was the recognition that we go forward to try and advance and maximise the impact of our research in ways that also support and recognises the differences between our disciplines and the ways in which we are here to support, to respect and to understand all of their needs. And I think that is an important framing as we go into what can often be quite a heated discussion about open access monographs. And I think those different perspectives will matter today. I think they are all important if we are to cherish the long form and also to think about sustainable models for open access in the future that meet the needs of the breadth of the community and the different disciplines and the different uh, perspectives that are represented therein and different career levels, which we'll also hear about today. Because it can get heated, uh, I'm minded to say on all of our behalf that we don't have to agree on everything today. We won't. Um, the important thing is to surface the debate, to have the conversation, to keep deepening that learning so we can build models which are sustainable and are going to work across the community. But we do have to show respect to each other and we do have to give space for all the different speakers and the different participation from the audience um, and, and in the round. We have two moderators in the room today um, from the Office of Scholarly Communication, Arthur Smith, who's moderating this morning, and Lauren Cadwallader this afternoon. They will be introducing the speakers, but also having to chair questions. I've just asked that we all support them in making sure that is both a library, li sorry, a lively, I've got libraries on the mind, um, a lively, healthy, vibrant, and also respectful debate uh, mutually for everyone who's here. That's really what we want. So the aim of the day is to discuss the current landscape and the future challenges and innovations in the sector, to share experiences and, yes, to voice concerns, and to further our learning about the future opportunities for open access monographs. The symposium has two parts. The first this morning is on policy and practice, and the second this afternoon on experience and innovation. But the voices of authors, of learner societies, publishers, funders, pol policymakers and libraries weave through them all with a brilliant array of speakers. We have uh, speakers from academia, from the Royal Historical Society, from Research England, the Wellcome Trust, from Cambridge University Press, from UCL Press, Springer Nature, Open Book Publishers, Radical Open Access, uh, the Open Library of the Humanities, and, and many, many more. And I'm delighted to note that several of our speakers and participants are partners in the 2.2 million Research England project to improve and increase open access publishing through community-led open publication infrastructures for monographs, snappily known as COM. Cope him. Others can describe that more today. During lunch, there were also publisher stands to explore. And with thanks to our partners at CUP, I'd like to invite everyone to stay on for a glass of wine at the end of the day. Before I close, I'd also like to say a very, very warm thanks to the Arcadia Fund, whose continued support for Cambridge's open access initiatives have made this symposium possible. Arcadia is a charitable fund, the charitable fund of Elizabeth Rousing and Peter Baldwin. And we have the pleasure today of having Ross Mounts with us. And many of you all know Ross. He is a strong advocate of scholarly communications landscape and its transformation, and also um, the manager of Arcadia's Open Access Grants. It's wonderful to have him here. <laughs> 